I'm a batang 90s, uh, Stephanie. So, all that I've read in my books were all Marcuses are demons, Marcuses are evil. Marcuses are demons, Marcuses are evil. What? Ako, I think it's my responsibility to show the other side. That's it. I'm not... So, mabait pa nga ako eh. Kasi hindi ko sinasabing kasinungalingan yung iba. I just say that there is no monopoly of truth. Walang nagsosolo ng katotohanan. Walang nagmamay-ari ng kasaysayan. That's it. Hindi ako yung nangihikayat, Ma'am Stephanie. Hindi po ako yung nangungumbinsi na hindi ako yun. No? Wala ko sinasabing kumampina kayo sa amin and something like that. We're just telling a story. Now, if you want to know the story, then it's uh, then it's actually more than a right. No, prebelehiyo na mak na makita ang katotohanan sa dalawang angulo. Um, to tell you honestly, yung script talaga hindi naman natak, hindi naman talaga natakos. Yeah, so you know, I have a very weird uh, system of making a a film. That's why hindi ako mas that's why hindi ako gusto ng mga nasa industry because I'm not from a film school. I don't know how to I don't know how to create a movie through science ikangan. So my 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 way of doing a film is very different. No, I can I can give you a percentage of what is for entertainment and all because I think a movie should be for entertainment talaga. No, so it's a hundred percent for entertainment, but I, I see to it, out of respect to Senator Aini and to Boswick, I have to make it 100% uh, based on the truth. No? So, yung embellishments, yung paglagay ng mga konting nakakatawa, paglagay ng nakakaiyak, no? I think it's natural dun sa eksena na yun. And I'm not really very secretive about sa Midit Malacanang naman sinabi ko ang kakarelatean naman ng mga tao ng common tao ay yung mga maids ganun pa rin dito sa ganun pa rin dito sa martyr or murderer we will see ourselves dun sa maids and of course we will also relate to the marcoses na family in crisis so i cannot really say ilan ng nakakatawa ilan ng it's it's a it's a you know a roller coaster kung yung made in malacan yung roller coaster ng star city i think eto hello Disneyland ito. Kasi medyo mayaman na kami this time. Dahil ano eh, napanood yung Made in Malacanang. So, meron na kaming pera. I mean yung prop. Kami dito, wala pa masyado. So, yung prop. Yun. Uh, my last question. But it's really a fine question. Uh, the story is not a happy one. So, uh, it is was, really not a happy one. That's why I was very concerned na mawawala yung trademark uh, dahil yung comedy. So, uh, there's always a bit of a struggle not to make it endlessly depressing. At uh, sana may lighter moments pa rin. And this is what we're struggling to do. Ang totoo, yung uh, Made in Malacanang was a lark. Kalokohan nga yung parang katuwaan. Tapos sa uh, konsentido si Victor Pisagin, kaya hinayak, naging pelikula. Ito medyo struggle, nararamdaman ko na yung pressure. Pero to, to say, I, I didn't lose my uh, Daria comedy here. It's still, you know, it's still cruel, it's still funny. And even if it's a painful experience for the Marcoses, a lot of Filipinos try, a lot of Filipinos, especially yung mga anti-Marcos, they find the painful ones very funny. So I guess this is also for them. They should watch. It's comedy for them. So uh, have a good laugh. Well, so to lang, so kamagat pa lamang, ay, nag-aaway na po kami. And until today, I haven't made peace with this uh, title. Um, but um, I also have to confess na hindi ko pa napapanood. Sabi nga ni Daryl, alas dos ng umaga, nagtatapos na siya. Uh, napanood ko yung karamihan ng dailies. So, nakikita ko naman per eksena. Pero, yung kabuuhan, surprise pa rin. Pero, I'm not pasaway naman, I'm not palaban. I'm, actually, I'm very angelic. 
alam nyo, I'm a different person in social media and <laughs> sa personal, you know? Ako, hindi ako nakikiparty, hindi ako umiino. Ako, bahay, simbahay. Ano, ako, hindi lang talaga ako sanay sa plastikan, friendship. Hindi talaga ako pinanganap sa, you know what, I'm gonna tell you something. Sa, sa Olonga po kasi ako lumaki, at ang lola ko, may malaki kaming apartment na ang mga nakatira, puro mga pokpo. No? Kasi ano eh, it's nasa base militar kami. So ako, at a young age, na nine years old, exposed ako sa mga prostitute. Nakikita ko silang nakahubad, kaya doon pa lang na-realize ko na nabading ako. Kasi dami ko nakikita ang girls na nakahubad. So ako, wala akong ka-filter-filter friendship. At pati ang language ng mga kinalakihan ko, Palagay, kaya nga itong mga artista sa tabi ko, even senator, no? Yeah, hindi sila sanay sa paraan ko ng pagsasalita. I don't mean harm, pero sa kanila parang sobrang offensive. Pag nagtanong pa lang ako, yan yung damit mo, sa kanila parang nilalaid ko yung damit eh. <laughs> pero ako, tinatanong ko lang, no? That's why when I answer back, it seems like, I'm so mayabang, I'm so bastos. Well, medyo. Pero, hindi ko talaga intensyong makasakit, no? Maliban na lang because, I don't know, maybe I have that type of persona na kahit wala pa akong binago, nakakainis na ako. And I don't blame people for that. It's how I, how I project myself. So, boss, sa tingin mo, ganyan, sa papayuhan nila ako, pero hindi ko naman susundin. At least, kinuha ko yung opinion nila. Wow! Kaya ako mayabang kasi spoiled ako, friendship. Spoiled kasi yun. Mali mo, boss, B, dahil nga pasaway siya. O, eh, baka eto, bilyon ka agad kitain. Dapat, dapat. Ha? Ha? Magagaling daw ang autistic sa akin. Kaya, boss, mababash ka niya. Eh, bali mo. Hindi, ha? Si boss, B, nakikita ko yan. Sobrang mapagmahal sa mga special child. Kitang-kita ko siya sa Rockwell. Oh. Grabe. Akala ko pasaway pala bang biglang special child na. Ang ending special child na. Oh. Oh. Pero yan, alam mo, uh, direct, ang daming nakaliw na biktima mo, si Ruba pati si Cesar, yeah. nakakaloka. Oh, oh. Kasi yung sinabi ni Ruba na yung kung sa anong susuotin, uh, uh, let's go to Hong Kong, di ba? And even si Buboy sumagot ng anong oras. Anong ito? oras ah, ah, yes, the wife of... Oh, oh. Alam ba yan, Ruby? Yes. Pero yan, Rupa, yan, Cesar, ano man sasabi nyo, hindi ba kayo natatakot na kay Daryl? Kasi ano, talagang buong kasi direct Daryl, ang friendship ko talagang pinupost. Kaya nga ako minsan, pag may tinatanong siya sa kanya, ayoko mag-comment. Kaya ako may tinatanong siya kung sino yung nagtanong doon sa isa na ayaw magpa-direct sa kanya. Tinatanong ko lang po kay Friendship Jude, kasi may napanood ako ang interview, tapos yung reporter doon sabi, do you believe in Daryl? Sabi ng reporter, no. Sabi ko, Friendship, sino itong reporter na to? Actually, kilala ko yung bosses, pero ayoko mapahama. Baka sa expose niya sa akin, hindi kilala. Tinatanong ko lang. Pero yan, Rupa, hindi ko natatakot ngayon after na expose niya. Well, dapat ngayon, tawagan na lang natin si Derek. Huwag na tayo mag-message sa kanya. Thank you.